everyone, how you doing? It is Victoria Player here of victoriaplayer.com and welcome along to tonight's live stream. I am just going to um, just get a few things prepared whilst I'm waiting for you guys to join because I know uh, many of you have signed up to be here today. I'm very excited to see who will be joining us. And it's telling me here that it is, it says, congratulations, this is your 25th broadcast. So I'm doing well. I better make it a good one tonight. And uh, so tonight we're going to be talking about how to hit your first 5k month. Now I know um, it is 8pm here in the UK and uh, for those of you who are joining from the US it'll be about 3pm um, in the afternoon. So uh, I'm sure many of you are getting the kids settled and things like that so I'll give you a few moments to get on board and get a notebook and get yourself a drink and get yourself settled. Um, let's have a looky here see if we have got things going correctly before we get started. I'll just give you a few minutes to join and uh, hopefully you can all, yeah, we are live for sure. I'm just looking on my laptop here and uh, I'm wondering if I should share this out actually. Two sets. I'm going to share this out and then we will get started. So hopefully some of you um, will be able to join. Two sets. So broadcasting live now over at... Victoria Player. Okay. Tonight we're talking about how to hit your first 5k month. <clears throat> Excuse me. So broadcasting live now over at Victoria Player tonight, we're talking about how to hit your first 5K month. Hello, we've had someone join. I'm just uh, sharing out the live stream right now, just waiting for people to come join us um, and then we will get going. Hello, everybody. I don't know why, but for some reason when I'm um, hosting the lives lately, I can see you joining at the top of the screen here, but I can't see your names come up. So it's a shame. Um, right, okay, there we go, shared that out right now. And so we will get going in, um, well, we're four minutes in, so hi Monica, how are you doing? I'm there on your Facebook page, should I be clicking? Oh dear, I don't know why my notifications aren't coming up. Let's see if I can do something. Zoe, hi, how are you doing Zoe? Um, listen everybody, can you tell me firstly whether you can hear me okay before we get started and um, let's just do a quick sound check because I don't want to be speaking for hours and hours, well not hours and hours but for all this, you know, we'll probably go for about an hour so I don't want to be speaking for an hour and realise that none of you can hear me so can you um, give me some thumbs up or just say yes you can hear me and so on. Uh, Zoe, hello, Kathy, nice to see you. Kathy, I've not met you before. Nice to see you here. So you um, subscribe earlier today. Who else have we got here? Say hello, share what you do, what your business is, so I can get a feel for all of you. Zoe, obviously I know you. Um, who else have we got joining us tonight? I'm just going to do some hellos before we get started. Uh, she says, I can hear you, hon, but the sound isn't great. Okay, well, I have got my mic on here, so hopefully that will be better. Let's see if I can put some volume up there. That might make a difference. So hopefully that will do the job, because my mic is on. Jodie, nice to see you. Hello, Jodie. I've not seen you since the last meetup. 
Who else have we got with us today? Please feel free to introduce yourself and your business and um, who you work with and what you do because, of course, this is a great opportunity for you to raise your visibility. And actually, just a quick tip before we get started. I was showing this on a Twitter chat last night, actually. Um, A really great way of becoming more visible online is to actually comment on other people's live streams. But the best way to do it is actually to show up for the same people's live streams on the regular so that you start, you know, people start to recognize your name and so on and so forth. So um, I am looking forward to hearing what you have to say. Um, Please introduce yourself. And also, I would love it if you interact with me as we go along, because otherwise it's just me speaking at you into the ether. Um, And although I know you there, it's nice to get some interaction going. So um, if you're enjoying what I'm saying, feel free to press the, um, you know, continue to press the the thumbs up button, the like button or the hearts or whatever. Just if you're on your phone, you can tap, 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 tap and a stream of hearts and stuff will go across the screen so I can uh, see what you think to what I'm saying. Also, I'd love for you to share this out. Um, you know, just click the, you, I think you, I can't remember how to do it now, you either swipe or swipe up or something like that, and you can share it to your page. So uh, if you know anybody who um, is also running a business, a woman in business, perhaps a coach or consultant who's struggling to attract clients and create consistent cash flow, then um, you can either share it to their page and or you can tag them in the comments below. And of course, that will draw them to the video and they can either watch it live with us or um, they can listen in at a later date. So I'd really appreciate you helping me to help others by spreading the word. So we've got a few of you on um, today's live. Thank you for joining me this evening. It's an absolute um, pleasure and honor to have you with me. I'm sure you've all had lots of other things you could be doing this evening. I bet you've been rushing to get dinner done and get the kids down to bed. So I appreciate you um, showing up for the live. Um, Monica says, hi, I'm getting a lot of echo. Ah, I don't know why. Is anybody else getting echo? Let me let me know. Tell me what you think. Perhaps I ought to. Uh... I wonder why that's happening. How strange. Let me just unplug a minute and then put it. Give me feedback, ladies. Tell me how the sound is for you. Is it terrible? I'm not sure why. Jodie's saying my sound is okay. So maybe it's something to do with your connection, Monica. But anyway. Um... You know, keep me posted if there's any other problems, but I will, I don't know what I can do at my end to, to change the sound, unfortunately, because I have got a mic on and whatnot, so. Anyway, we're nine minutes in, so I shall get going with tonight's content. And uh, if you see me looking over this way, by the way, it's because I've written some notes just to keep me on track. Uh, Zoe's saying, sounding fab. Thank you, Zoe. That's great. Um, And of course, tonight we are going to be talking about how to hit your first 5K month. Now, if you you haven't already done so, grab yourself a notebook because I'm going to be giving a, a lot of content. I'm going to give you as much as I can in the time that we have together. But of course, you know, I'm not going to be talking all night and you guys are going to want to get on with your evening or your day, depending on where you're listening in from. So, um... What I'm going to do is give you some great content and then also I'm going to share with you how you can get more help with this going forward if that's something you are interested in hearing more about. Because not only am I sharing how to hit your first 5k month, but this is also a sneaky peek of a new program I've recently launched. We already have some people enrolled into it. Um, And they've been going for a couple of weeks, so uh, it's been fun doing that. Um, But this is the official, you know, the first sort of launch video for it. And it is a preview for a brand new eight-week program that I am hosting. It's a, a small group intensive, a virtual intensive 
in which I share with you how to do exactly what we're talking about tonight, how to hit your first 5K month by working with higher end clients in a way that enables you to have a greater impact and work in a more delicious and fulfilling and juicy way, a way that actually lights you up and a way that is of greater service to your clients whilst also enabling you to increase your monthly income and sort of reach that 5k month um, you know, revenue each month so that you can literally turn your, your monthly income into your daily income with as little as one new client. Okay, so I hope that sounds juicy to you and I'm going to be sharing how you can, um, you know, the different steps that you will need to hit those 5k months, even if you are new in business um, and, you know, whether you're new in business or whether you're more established. So who is this live stream for? If you are joining me here tonight, I want to be to make sure that you are in the right pace and you are the right kind of person to be listening in. So um, this is for you if you are new in business. And um, the key part of this is you need to be a coach or a consultant or somebody who runs a service-based business. So if you are new in business, one of the things you may have found is that you are in that space of what we call trading your time for money. And uh, this keeps a lot of new business owners in a state of running at 100 miles an hour and feeling like you're not going very far. So I'm sure, you know, give me some thumbs up if you are someone who's already, um, you know, feeling a little bit like that. And what I mean by trading your time for money is that you're selling your services on an hour by hour rate. So if you were to have an enrolling conversation with somebody, um, you, you know, you're saying, well, you know, my fees are £60 an hour. And the reality of that is that it can keep you stuck and struggling financially for a very long time. Because um, what you will find is that clients... You know, when you're selling on a session by session basis, it is hard to keep clients working with you for longer. And that means, you know, they'll do a couple of sessions. They'll say, yes, I'll call you when I want the next session. And what do they do? They never call again, which means you've then got to spend ages going out looking for more clients. And you're always on this cycle of where's the next client? Where's the next client? And also it's harder to enroll people when you're trading your time for money. Because nobody values your time. I know you do, but a potential client doesn't. And when you're, when you're selling your time and you say, okay, my fees are, you know, £200 an hour, people are like, oh, £200 an hour? That seems steep. And that's a mistake because you're not selling your time. What you're selling are the outcomes, the transformations and the benefits of the work that clients get from uh, working, receive from working with you. And when you position yourself in that way, when you stop trading your time for money and you start selling the outcomes and the results and the transformations, people, you know, see the value in what you're doing. They stop thinking, oh my God, your fees are so high, I can't afford that. And so... If you're new in business, and I know that it tends to be new business owners that are trading their time for money, if you are that person, you are in the right place because we're going to be talking about that. And also you may be new in business and you know you are at that beginning stage and you know you want to put the right foundations in from the get-go because business success, it, it's not rocket science. It is quite an exact formula. Um, there are certain principles one needs to follow and it's very much like building a house. You know, when you, when you, if you put dodgy foundations in, you know at some point you, you, your house is going to get subsidence and you're going to get cracks in the wall. And it's the same with business. If you don't put the right foundations in from the get-go, it doesn't matter how much you market yourself. It doesn't matter how visible you are. You know, you can work your ass off, but if 
if what you're doing isn't based upon really sturdy foundations, you will be working without seeing a return on investment. And this is why so many new business owners get into that state of, you know, they've been trying to make their business work for such a long time and they just become despondent and they start to second guess themselves. They, they doubt themselves and their own abilities and the viability of their business. And this is why so many, um, you know, new business owners just hold their hands up and say, that's it, I'm going back to, to do a full-time job that I hate. So don't let that be you. Stick around for what I have to share with you because, um, you know, I do not want that to be you. <laughs> I mean, being there myself, um, feeling that way back in, the, back in the day when I started my business 10 years ago, um, I know it's not a good place to be. Um, so this is also for you if you already have a business and you're in that fortunate position where you're really busy and you have a lot of clients and you've got into that cycle of too many clients and not enough time or you know you're really delivering or you're really marketing a lot you know you're very busy 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 and you're getting to that point where you're just feeling overwhelmed and burnt out and it may actually be that you know you are earning pretty good money but you've reached a ceiling because you literally couldn't work with another client even if you wanted to because you don't have enough hours in the day. And although you may want to take your income to, an, to, to the next level, you can't because, you know, as coaches and consultants, we are our business and we deliver the service. So unless you start to leverage the way you're working in terms of the, the programs you deliver, there is a finite amount of time that you can commit to, you know, spend with clients. So um, this is for you if you're in that position and you're looking to really elevate your income and turn your um, monthly income into your daily income without working harder. And yes, it is possible. <laughs> Um, Zoe's saying, that's me. Are you talking about the newbie business owner, I guess? Um, I, I, in fact, do you know what? I'm not going to read the comments now because I do this and then get off track. So I will speak for a bit and then I'll have a break and answer, you know, reply to your comments just to keep things a little bit streamlined. Um, this is also for you if you recognize that you are playing small in your business. Um, I think all of us who run a business reach a point at, at some time when we're like, you know what, that, that's it. I've had enough with sort of playing around on the edges. It's time to put myself in the game. And I know that was definitely true for me. Um, my turning point when I decided enough was enough was, when was it? At the end of 2012, I made the decision, I, you know, I'd, I'd been running my business and I had been making some money, but I was working really hard, putting huge amounts of hours in. And, and actually, um, one of the things that made me shift was when I um, found myself pregnant and alone and uh, realized I had a newborn baby on the way. And when he eventually arrived, I realized that I could not continue to work at the rate that I had done. And I realized I had to shift my business model. And uh, in order to do that, I was going to have to really elevate the way I was thinking, who I was being, how I was showing up in my business, and really start to um, look at it with a different, you know, through a different lens, so to speak. And it was then that I decided I was, you know, because I was the sole provider. My son's uh, father just washed his hands of the entire situation. So it was up to me to be a good role model to my son. And it was up to me, <clears throat> excuse me, to keep a roof over our head. So, you know, if anything's going to give you a push, that is going to do it. And it certainly was that case for me. And at which point I made the decision to do what it was going to take to make sure my business was successful in a way that would work around the needs of a newborn. 
And so that's exactly what I did. And I remember making that decision in that period between Christmas and New Year in 2012. And by about the April the following year, I had gone from zero clients to generating over £30,000 in just a matter of, you know, two or three months. So um, things can shift quickly when you really up-level your mindset. And we're going to be talking about that more a bit later on. Um, This is also for you if you are someone who needs to generate income quickly. And I bet every single one of you is nodding your head right now because, hey, who's going to say no to that? Not one of us in our, who's got any sense anyway. Um, so, you know, the, one of the things I've found about entrepreneurship is it's, there's, it's very much a process of breathing in and breathing out. And um, there's a lot of ebbs and flows. It is certainly the greatest transformational program that you will ever put yourself through. Um, you know, the, the opportunities for self-development are phenomenal. And so, you know, the, the fact that there are so many ups and downs and ebbs and flows and moments of sheer panic and moments of joy um, mean that, you know, there are times when things aren't going so great. Perhaps the clients haven't been coming in for whatever reason or a big bill comes in or a tax bill or, you know, what life is, how, it, you know, the, the doo-doo gets thrown at us. So, the great thing about being a business owner is, are, is you are mistress of your own destiny. And when you have the right tools in your back pocket and the right knowledge, you have the ability to turn things around on the, you know, like in the flash of an eye, if you so wish. And so this is perfect for you um, today's live. If you are someone who wants to discover the strategies and the revenue streams that make, excuse me, that make that a reality. Um, You know, I remember the days when I used to think if only I could just go out and get a client on demand and you can, that is the truth of it. You know, if you are someone who is relying upon wish and hope as a strategy for business success, then I suggest you stop because it's not going to work. Um, you know, and I'm not pointing fingers here because I have been that woman and that's what qualifies me to say that. <laughs> and, um, you know, the thing is, it's, it, knowledge is, is power. And um, there is no shortage of clients out there. There is no shortage of cash flow either. We just need to be able to connect the dots so that we can get the outcome that we're looking for. And so, you know, when those moments come, when a big bill comes in or something happens and you suddenly need to come up with thousands of pounds, um, it is realistically doable. Um, So you're going to find something here for you if that is you. And finally, if you are someone who is looking for something that is very quick and simple to launch without a huge online you know, a a sort of long drawn out marketing process. Um, You know, I don't know what sort of level many of you are at, but, you know, there's all, there's so many different ways to launch programs. There's all the online launches, um, which can take up to six weeks. And again, you know, if you need that quick injection of cash into your business, what I'm going to share with you tonight is going to be of interest to you. Because if you have the ability to move your mouth and have a conversation, then you have the ability to make thousands of pounds, um, literally with one new client, if you wish. So uh, I hope that has whet your appetite because um, we are now going to get into the content. And uh, we're going to be talking about how to hit your first 5K month. Now, as soon as I say that, I know that for some of you, there may be this intake of breath, like... 5k? I can't ever imagine making that. And uh, I know that was true for me at one point, that the whole concept of being able to generate that much in my business 
for our type of business and a coaching and consulting type of business, it seemed inconceivable to me because I was definitely someone who started out small. Um, you know, I started my business back in 2007 and slowly, you know, did, did it like most people. I started out running it as a just a thing in the evenings and then it sort of took off more and more and more. And, you know, as I was saying in the promo for tonight's live, I know this is the case for many of you where you have reached that point where you've put a lot of the groundwork in and some of the money's coming in and you are working with some clients and you've either got a full-time job or a part-time job and you really want to make that jump into having your business support you full-time and it's tough because you have to suddenly go from um, generating sort of smaller figures to to making a lot, you need to replace the income that you're currently making in your job. And that can be quite difficult when you're trying to do it at the same time as doing a full-time job. So what I'm going to share with you tonight is the one thing, the only thing that helped me to do that. Um, and so I hope you're listening up. If you are someone, and in fact, Funny enough, um, I was out at a meeting this morning and I was speaking to a coach who ex described the exact thing. She was clearly a great coach. She was obviously very talented. She'd had, you know, amazing reviews from her clients and a lot of referrals. However, she was really struggling to make that jump, to make, you know, have her business be full time. And I'm sure many of you are just the same. Um, in fact, give me some, you know, press, press the likes or the hearts if that's you. I'm interested to, to hear where you're at. Are you guys in that position as well? Um, so... Yeah, so this is going to be really beneficial for that. And I've lost my train of thought now. What was I saying? Uh, yeah, the, it was... Um, oh, for, anyway, I'll carry on. <laughs> is that you, Zoe, saying heart, saying she wants to transition out for her job? Um, so, yeah, oh, yeah, we were talking about the inconceivable thing of the 5K piece. I decided that... You know, I was going to have to make the jump. And there comes a point, and this leads us perfectly into step one of tonight's tips. Um, you know, in terms of you uh, hitting your first 5K month, the first step is to cultivate a high-end mindset. And so it, that's where it begins, because you cannot take the mindset of an employee and adopt that within your business and expect it to work. You, you know, it's, they're two different things. Entrepreneurship is very much about taking risks, um, being comfortable with being uncomfortable, um, being prepared to step out of your comfort zone, understanding that you're not going to have all of the answers, um, being prepared to make decisions and from the perspective of the woman you want to be rather than the woman you are now. And it's very interesting. I was having a discussion with a client of mine early this morning and uh, we, she was sharing with me since she's worked with me how different her mindset is in terms of She's always vigilant about how she's thinking and is it keeping her stuck? Is it keeping her playing small? And, you know, she's watching for the sort of employee mindset and realizes she has to think differently now. And another experience of this I had recently, I was speaking to a lady who was sharing that she really wanted to grow a business and attract more clients. Um... And she was really interested in working with me, but then, and, and uh, totally up for it, but then obviously went away and overthought it and started to second guess herself. And in the end, she completely talked herself out of it. And it was so sad and so frustrating from my perspective because 
Everything she needed to change her situation was being handed to her on a plate. Now, I know I can get results. I know I can do it because I do it for myself and I do it for my clients and they all get results. My clients are my greatest cheerleaders. They bring me more business than anybody. And I know that what I was going to give to her would have solved her situation like that. But the fear... The, that, that, the discomfort that she was experiencing in the decision-making process just whoosh, closed her down. And it was so sad because she turned away from the very thing. The answers were there. The solution was there. And, you know, I don't care whether she works with me or somebody else. What I care is that people get what they really want. What I care about is that people move into the thing that will totally light them up. What I care about is that they are showing up in support of whomever it is that they serve. And so she had everything right there. But because she wasn't cultivating the mindset of the woman she wanted to be rather than the woman she was in that moment, she turned away from the very thing that could have changed everything in the flesh of an eye. And so this is the big step. This is the big first step. And it's something that I can't do for people. You know, it's something I teach um, what to look out for. And, you know, I, I open people's minds up. But ultimately, it comes down to you guys. It's your decision. I could give you everything I know, everything. But until you decide to put yourself in the game, nothing can change for you. So I invite you to make, if, you, if you're really looking, if you're serious about hitting your first 5K month, it starts with who you're being. It starts with what you're deciding on a moment by moment basis. It starts with your decision to put yourself in the game, to step up and be the woman who is making 5K every month. So ask yourself, what does the woman who is making 5K a month, what is she saying? What is she doing? How is she showing up? What decisions does she make? You know, what activities does she do on a day-by-day -day basis? How does she carry herself? How visible is she? You know, ask yourself whatever question you need to. But look at yourself and your business and ask yourself honestly, if I was being the woman who's generating 5K every month, how would I be showing up in the world? And, you know... This also comes down to you and your money story because, and, and the, you know, this is exactly what happened with the, the, the um, story I was just sharing with you about the potential client. You know, she was so stuck in her story, money story around the fear of it not working out, the what ifs, the buts, the maybes. You know, what if it doesn't work? What if I work with Victoria and it doesn't, and, and it doesn't work out? Or what if I don't get all the clients I need? And what if, and what if, and what if, you know, if you always worry about the what ifs, all you get is more of the worry. You never get a solution to it. So, you know, ask yourself a, a better question and think about, you know, in business, you are always going to have to invest in yourself in some way, shape or form, whether that's investment of time or investment of money. And, um, you know, I'm going to call you guys out here as coaches and consultants. We often hide out like that, because if you think about um, if you are setting up a clothing store or a boutique or something like that. You'd have to pay business rates on the property. You'd have to buy clothing racks. You'd have to buy a cash till. You know, you'd have to have the place done up. You'd have to pay um, a Saturday girl or, you know, members of staff to serve in the boutique. You know, there'd be an initial outlay 
in order to even get going with your business. And somehow, as coaches and consultants and people who provide a service, we often think, you know, I, and listen, I did it myself. I resisted investing in my business for a long time. That you've got to, if you don't know how to do something, you have got to invest in the same way that if you're setting up a, you know, if you're selling a product of some shape or description, the same way you have to lay out for that. You know, your knowledge is where the investment goes. Your time is where the investment goes. They're your two um, areas where you need to invest. If you want to be the woman who is generating 5K or more every month, you have to invest your time and or your money or both. Um, And there's no getting around it. There's just not. And I know there's a lot of stuff out there on the internet that says, you know, oh, do this without working harder. And, you know, in the beginning, you are going to have to put some work in because you have to put the foundations in. But once they are in and you've got the right stuff in from the get go, you can have that work for you. It doesn't mean you don't have to do any work because you just you just do. You know, this is a business. You don't get to earn £5,000 for sitting looking pretty, but that's for sure. Um, but yeah, just, just be mindful of your money story. If you get into that headspace of, I can't afford it, well, can you afford not to? What's it going to cost you if you stay exactly where you are? Because if you don't think from a different perspective, you're going to get more of the same. So all of the inner shit, all of the shifts that you're looking to experience in order to take you from where you are to a 5K month starts up here first. In every moment, in every moment, you have the opportunity to think like the woman who is generating 5K every month. All right. Um, So think about that. Think about how you're thinking what you're deciding on a moment by moment basis. Are you showing up as the woman you need to be? Uh, Are you being that successful woman? You know, think about who do I want to be? How do I want my business to look? And then ask yourself, am I aligned? You know, am I really embodying that way of being? All right. So some, some questions there that perhaps you can write down in your journal and just reflect upon because nothing is going to get you further than being truthful with yourselves. And you know what? So many women in business, absolutely, they're they're their own worst enemy. They bullshit themselves. They do. (laughs) Um, So it's time to call yourselves out on this, okay? Now, let me see. I've got some comments coming up here. Let me see what you ladies are saying. Um... Let's have a little looky here. Sounds great. Hi, um, Kim, you're in California. Nice to see you. You're making so much sense. Of course I am, Zoe. (laughs) Try to. Well said. Jane, hi, nice to see you. Kim says, well said. Great. Tracy, hello. Not seen you for a while. Um, Yeah, good. Well, I'm glad you're vibing with this, ladies. And do you know what I, here's a little question for you, and I want to see it in the comments. I'll come back to it in a minute. Um, In terms of cultivating a high-end mindset, in terms of cultivating the mindset of the woman who is generating 5K every month, let's let's call each other out on this. I'm I'm, I'm challenging you now. I'm going to hold you accountable to this. Tell me in the comments below, where are you hiding out in terms of the mindset piece that we've just talked about? Comments below. Let's uh, get into some interaction. I'd, I'd love to for you to sort of pinpoint where you're hiding out. What stories are you telling yourself to keep yourself stuck? Um, what, what area, uh, you know, where are you keeping yourself in that comfort zone? All right, post in the comments. All right, so step number two that will help you um, hit your first five month, uh, 5K month is to know what it takes to be ir- irresistible to high-end clients. Okay, 
because that's where we're at. We're talking high end here because you're not going to be um, generating 5K every month if you're just, you know, playing around the edges. And so we've talked about how what you need to be, how you need to be thinking in, in here. But let's take it outside and let's look at what it is that you need to have in place to be irresistible to the clients who are going to pay you your worth. Because the truth is, you can charge your worth and get paid handsomely for doing what you love. But this is about being on point with your message. This is about being clear about who it is you work with. And this is about being 100% aligned with the wants and needs of your ideal clients. And, and I say ideal clients, I know that's a, a phrase that's bandied about a lot, but what I really want to appeal to you, uh, share with you today is this way of being is about taking a stand for how you want to be, who you want to be, and how you want to show up in the marketplace. This isn't about thinking, oh my God, I just need the money to come in. I will just work with anybody, you know, doing what I call spraying and praying, where you are so desperate to, you know, bring the next lot of money in or attract new clients that you're just spraying your message out to all and sundry in the hope that somebody, anybody will become a client. And actually, it's, it's fatal to your business success because it smacks of desperation. Whether you say it or not, people can just feel that energy. Um, and also, it's very random. You know, if you're working at a higher level, you want to be perceived as the go-to authority within your niche. You want to be a recognized, credible authority. You want to be perceived as an expert. So this is about positioning. So what I mean by positioning is positioning yourself, you know, everything that you say and do and how you communicate and who you say you work with, you know, every piece of communication makes it clear that you're good at what you do, that you know your stuff, that you're an authority, and that your, your services are uniquely tailor-made to the specific wants and needs of your target audience. Um, and, you know, let's remember, we're talking here tonight about hitting your first 5K month. And the truth is, you can do that with one client. You could do it with two or three, but in reality, you can do that with one client. But the only way you could do that with one client is if, is if you have positioned yourself as an authority. When you create from that space, you create products, uh, not products, you create services and packages and programs that are specifically tailored, that are bespoke to the wants and needs of your clients. Now, as human beings, we always want the best for ourselves. Um, you know, when it's, it's just our nature, we want the best that we can get for ourselves. And so when we are considering investing in a service, we will, we will go for the best where possible. And we will always go for the service that is uniquely tailored to our specific needs or to, our, you know, the type of person we are. So, for example, you know, if you, uh, it's like saying, if you, <laughs> it's a terrible analogy, but, um, you know, if you had a brain tumor, you would not go to a GP, a general practitioner, to get it fixed up. You'd go to the best specialist you could find. And it's the same with what you are doing. You know, you want to be perceived as the specialist, the one that everyone wants to go to, the one that, oh, she's great. She can fix you up with this. She works with these types of people. And so um, this is what it takes to be irresistible to high-end clients, to totally have what you're saying here, your message, and everything you deliver to 
have it matching exactly with the wants and needs of your clients. When you can do that, you never have to push, you never have to sell, and it's an easy yes for a potential client. And also, when it's done properly, the money no longer becomes an issue. And we're going to talk about this in, in the next, uh, a bit later on, but, you know, when people understand that you are great at what you do, that what you deliver is an exact match to their needs, it's a, it's a non-negotiable. You know, people will find money that they haven't even got to work with you. And so this piece is fundamental to your business success. Now, you know, I'm sure that at least one of you listening to this now is saying, ah, yeah, but I know my client. I know my message. I know that, you know, blah, 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 blah. But you know what? If I had a penny for every person that's left wanting in this area, I would be extremely wealthy by now. And in fact, with every client I work with, without exception, we always come back to this place. Because it's about the positioning. It's about being irresistible. And you, everything in this section, you know, with your messaging, with your positioning, it has to be bang on point. If it's not, there's a disconnect because you literally have seconds to capture people's attention because, you know, we're busy. We've got a million and one things. We're tuning things in and out and in and out, you know. And if you don't say the right thing, in, from the get-go, people have tuned you out and decided you're not relevant and they've moved on to the next thing. And you've got to remember, you know, we are exposed to approximately 4,000 marketing messages every single day. So my question to you was, where does your business and your message stand amongst that melee of noise? You know, are you even being heard? Are people taking notice? And one of the ways you can gauge this is if you are marketing yourself and not getting any results, then this is the step you need to look at. Because it means your message is not, it's, it's off. People are not resonating with what you're saying um, enough for them to come closer into your world. So that is step number two, to know what it takes to be irresistible to your high-end clients. And that is about positioning yourself as an authority and um, creating, you know, delivering packages and programs and creating your offers in a way that are t is totally aligned with the wants and needs of your clients. And then having a superbly powerful message that immediately sort of ting triggers the interest of your ideal clients. If you're going to networking events or if you're posting stuff on social media and people are like, you know, it's like a flat line, then this is definitely an area that you need to look at. All right, so um, next step is to make what you do unique in the marketplace. So it's funny because I, again, I was chatting to another person this morning at this meeting I was at, and she was saying, um, actually, it wasn't this morning, it was a couple of days ago, I was having a discovery call with someone, and she said, there's so many people out there who are doing what I'm doing, and I look at what they're doing, and I just start to shrink, because I don't know what it is about me that's special. I don't know what it is about me that's unique. Why would someone work with me? And listen, I know there isn't one of you who doesn't experience that. I do still to this day, which is why I never look at what's on my feed on Facebook. Um, you know, the ego kicks in and tells us, who am I? I'm not good enough, you know, that type of thing. And it's it's prevalent amongst uh, as coaches and consultants, you know, what is it that makes us special? What is it that makes us stand out in the marketplace? And why would someone purchase from me? So what I want you to know around this is that you are enough. 
If you are listening to this now, you have what it takes to be unique in the marketplace. And I'll tell you why. You already have everything you need to stand out in the crowd. And I'll tell the reason for that is because you are you. And there is nobody else like you. You have your own unique DNA. You have your own unique set of skills, experiences, nuances, sense of humor, gifts, talents, perspectives, viewpoints, you know, whatever it is, all the different things that make you you is what will make you unique in the marketplace. And although there may be other people, competitors of yours, who are seemingly from the outside doing the same thing, what will make you different is the fact that you can bring all those elements that I've just mentioned into your business to create something that is unique to you. This is what it will make you and your offers stand out in the marketplace, okay? It doesn't matter who's doing what you're doing. What you need to do is bring everything of you into your business. And the beauty of this is it links to step one that we talked about earlier. When you show up as 100% you, nothing is more powerful than that because that's when you step into your spotlight. That is when you own your power and say, world, this is me. Because this feeling of not good enough, this shrinking away, this comparing ourselves to others, this am I, you know, you know, what do people think of me? Am I professional? What, I'm not as good as them, blah, blah, blah. You know the stories that run, run through your head. Um, this, that type of thing happens when we're looking at what others are doing. But when you connect with the truth of who you are and you look at everything that has brought you to this path right now and you combine all of that in the way you work with your clients, there is no competition. And I'll tell you why. Because it's a big old world out there. And some people may not be down with you. Some people may not. But you know what? It doesn't matter. Because for every one person that doesn't resonate with you and the way you do things and your style and your message and your opinions and the way you do what, you know, whatever it is you're doing, for every one of those, there's 10 who will love you, who will be into everything you do, who will just like your funky sense of humor or like the fact that you do this and that, and the, you know, whatever it is that makes you you. Those quirky little foibles that you think you should iron out are actually the things that are going to be the magical calling card to your ideal clients. So embrace it. And when you live in that way, when you actually own and embody the truth of who you are and you're authentically, being authentically you, that's when the magic happens. That's when you start to feel brave enough to step out of your comfort zone. That's when you start to show up for yourself and believe in yourself. Hold on. Someone's a little notification came up. You know, that's when the magic happens. That's when step one happens. And this is when you start to reach your 5K months. When you just flying by the seat of your pants and thinking, you know what, I am enough, I am good enough, there is someone out there for me. There's no shortage of people out there. Nobody is, you know, there's no shortage anywhere. There's always enough for all of us. So that is um, step number three. And step number four is to offer high-end packages. So I've alluded to this all along. This is what's going to take you from um, being in that place of employment and transitioning full time into, um, you know, having your business support you full time. 
and that is to offer these high-end packages. Now, there's lots of different ways to do that. You can do it um, via you know, VIP days and one-day intensives, um, you know, 30-day programs, six-month programs. The time frame doesn't matter so much. The most important piece is the, you know, the essence of the way you're working. Now, let me share with you why high-end packages are super beneficial to your business and why you should definitely be implementing them. So, in the, uh, if you are new in business, because I know a lot of people, when they're first starting out, they're, they're, you know, the, the story I hear so often is, yeah, but I knew, who am I to charge that much? Well, to be honest, and, and uh, what the mistake I see a lot of people making is that they start by delivering low-end offers. And this is what keeps women coaches and consultants broke struggling financially, in just getting by mode, feeling burnt out with too much to do and not enough time, like as women aren't juggling a million and one things already. Um, and this is the, the, the main reason why most women never get their business into profitability. Because they think, well, I don't know anyone who would, you know, I don't know anyone who'd pay for a high-end package. And who am I to go high-end? I'm just new in business. I need to get more experience and so on. And what I want to share with you, let me just share my story. So I remember um, doing the same thing. I started out by, I was sort of charging, what was it, about £275 for a package. And, you know, I was getting a lot of clients. But I was working my ass off. It was, you know... I was serving my clients in the day and then working at night to do the marketing piece and I was basically working 24-7 or it felt like it. And it was not fun anymore. I wasn't loving what I was doing. And I know in the early days of my business, I just was on fire. I just loved it. It was, it was and I'm like that now, I'd, I'd, I'd do it for free. But it got to the point where it was so much like hard work and it, I was so burnt out and exhausted, I just stopped loving it. And um, again, I said earlier, this is why so many women turn, just give up on running a business and go back and do a shitty job that they don't like. And don't let that be you. Um, and I remember selling these packages at 275 and then I upped it a bit to, what was it? Six, I think 625 and I thought that, you know that was a stretch for me at the time but I was still only you know really struggling financially struggling to pay my rent um, struggling to pay my bills you know there was always more months left at the end of the money and it was just so stressful and it went on and on and on for a long time and in the end I got to the point where I just thought that's it. I've had enough. And my story was, but I don't know anyone who will pay more than that. Who's going to pay me that for my service? And the problem was, is because I felt that I wouldn't pay, I took my beliefs about money and then transferred them onto other people and thought everyone else is not going to pay it. And it's just bullshit. That was my funky belief systems that I was reflecting out onto others. Now, what I want to say to you ladies is, you know, who are we to decide what someone can and can't afford? Just because you may not invest at that level doesn't mean other people won't. And also, the other thing you've got to think about is how on earth do you expect to serve people powerfully if you are stressed out, burnt out, struggling financially? I mean, the distraction that creates for a woman on top of everything else that we have to do, like looking after kids, keeping home, you know, all the moving parts that we do, like give yourself a break, you know, step into your power, own your worth, and understand that you deserve it, 
that you are worth it and that you deserve to be supported financially. Women are so chronically afflicted with this. Men don't do it to themselves. Men don't make, have to justify to themselves why they should charge X, Y, and Z. Women do. And I'll tell you why we do. Because it's, it's um, part of our psyche and it's a, an historical thing. Women have not been financially independent and although now we say we're independent, we are still stuck in the dark ages with our thinking around money. We feel that we have to make excuses for wanting money and needing money and you know, needing to be supported. And it is about support as well, ladies, because how the hell are we to take care of children, keep house, do all the school runs, yeah, you know the deal, you're doing it too, you know what you're doing every day. How can we do that and run a business, serve clients, show up for them, market the business, be visible, do all the moving parts of that? How can you do that if you are not supported financially? And this is also why women get stuck um, going nowhere fast because they are not charging enough to take on the support. So, for example, um, as you become more successful and you're working with more clients, and this is one of the, the things that holds women back, is that I don't really want to... Oops, I've got another notification. I don't really... I, I'm not going to... Women say they want to be successful but then they subconsciously hold themselves back because they're worried that if they become successful, they're going to be overwhelmed. And the reason they think that is because they're not charging enough. Because when you charge more, you then are supported financially. When you're supported financially, you get to pay yourself the same rate that you would in a job. Listen, you wouldn't go to a job and pay yourself what you're paying yourself now in a business. Women are underpaying themselves in their own business. You would not go to a job and not be paid. So why do it in your business? And also, when you get pay, when you can pay yourself, you will never get overwhelmed. And when you pay yourself well, because you can then delegate. You then are supported financially and those jobs around the house that you're currently doing can be done by someone else. You can get a cleaner in. You can, you know, get someone to pay someone to run errands for you. You know, whatever. You don't need to do the things that are going to overwhelm you when you're being paid, when you're being remunerated well. And, you know... We're actually, as women, making a rod for our own backs. We've fought for our own independence, but then we're not carrying it out all the way. We're then breaking our own backs because we're not owning, I want to earn more money and feel okay about it. It's okay to want to be paid well. And so this is where the high-end piece comes in because you need to be able to show up for your clients you need to be able to be a good mother and you can't do that if you're burnt out and stressed out and overwhelmed. You need to be able to show up for your partner and be a great lover and be able to be going on date night without stressing out about money or, oh my God, I've got to do this, that and the other and so on. I mean, we're cut, like, let's cut ourselves some slack here. And also, in the early days of business especially, when you're wanting to raise your visibility and get the word out, you are going to have to work a little bit harder because, you, you know, you need the world to know about you in order to get the momentum going. It's not going to always be like that. But in the early days, you need to be marketing, spending a lot of time marketing. And so if you are offering lower level programs and packages, it means that you're never, you know, you, you, you need to be enrolling lots of clients to ever make any good money. And so that means that all your time is filled up with serving your clients. 
And this is why so many women experience feast and famine, where they have money one minute and then none the next. Whereas if you work in a high-end way, you work with fewer clients who pay you more. And yes, you pour yourself into those clients, but you have the time to do it. And also, because you've been um, remunerated well financially, it means that you can, it gives you that space to breathe, to think, okay, I've got some space now to spend on, you know, time to spend on myself, or I can be out marketing myself, or let me take some time to think how I can grow my business from this standpoint. So this is why it's important that you lead with the high end, not the low end stuff. So many, like I said at the beginning of this, women lead with the low end and think, well, as I get better, I'll go, you know, raise my fees or I'll um, go high end. But actually, you need to lead with the high end and then offer the lower end after that. Because when you lead with the high end, this is your creme de la creme offering. This is where you get the best results for your clients. Now, as I said, as humans, we want the best for ourselves. So even if someone can't afford to work with you in that moment, what it does is it creates pent up desire. And so when you release a program that is lower end, people jump on it. And so this is exactly what I did. You know, I went from this 275 up to about 625. And then I thought, you know what? I can't live like this anymore. I can't live feeling so stressed in just getting by mode. I deserve to be supported financially. I'm a lone parent. I need that money. And I'm not going to make any excuses about it anymore. I'm going to own my power and you know, make it a non-negotiable. And so I massively raised my fees. And yes, it was. But I thought, you know what, if I don't put it out there, nobody can say yes. And within a week, somebody said yes. And it was a dream package I'd created. Um, it began with a, an intensive in Thailand, would you believe? And this is what a big step it was. I even thought, who on earth is going to fly to Thailand to work with me? And it happened. It happened within a week. And because I'd been promoting this amazing package that had, you know, this retreat in Thailand and, you know, I was posting all the the photos of where I was going to host it in this beautiful private pool villa and so on and so forth. People were watching. It created, it was my all singing, all dancing package. It was my creme de la creme, but it created what's called that pent up desire. And so... After that, I released the next tier of offer down from that, you know, in terms of the financial investment. And um, it filled. It filled in a second. And people were getting in touch with me saying, oh, my God, I saw I so wanted to do the Thailand thing. But obviously, you know, I couldn't quite make the investment. This is the perfect next step. And so this is why you should always lead with a high end offer. Okay, so I think I've made uh, a good case for it right there. (laughs) All right, let's see some of your uh, comments. I see they're coming in here. I don't want to ignore you all. I like to store the comments up so I don't get um, distracted. Trace is saying, hi, Victoria. Nice to see you, Tracy. Not seeing you for a while. Uh, I don't have time. Yeah, you don't have... Listen, none of us have time. Time is, you know, time is something we're never going to get back. So, um, yeah, good point. Kim says, mindset. I find myself hiding behind that, that women will not be able to afford my coaching premium packages. Okay, well, I'm going to talk about that in two minutes. And this is the big story. I don't know anyone who will pay that. My people won't pay that. And in fact, I'll answer it now whilst I think about it. The truth is, that's not true. And I know that because I called myself out on that and now I do it for my clients. Um, And this comes back to step number two that we were talking about, about the positioning piece. Because people buy what they want, not just what they need. And when it comes to promoting your coaching services, you sell 
You promote what people want, then you give them what they need. Okay? And when you have positioned yourself as an authority and the expert, and when you have positioned yourself in the mind of your ideal client as someone who is going to help them get them the results that they're looking for, money no longer becomes an object. It is about demonstrating the value of what you do. This goes back again to you know, the, the, the piece at the beginning of this live about trading your time for money. You're not trading your time, you are trading value. And value means what is it people are going to get out of working with you? What is the commitment? You know, what are you promising? What are the outcomes, transformations and benefits that they will get for, uh, as a result of working with you. Now, I know we can't guarantee anything, but in terms of enrolling people, you, you, they need to understand what's in it for them. And so if somebody has got a problem and you communicate about that problem and how you can solve it in a powerful way, they will find money that they don't have to work with you. And I'm definitely an example of that. Um, you know, when my son came along, um, things didn't turn out very well. You know, I'd been saving money. I thought I could do it all on my own. But very quickly, the money ran out. I couldn't work the hours that I had hoped. And I very quickly found that I was facing a life living, you know, living on benefits or welfare. You'd know it as if you live in the States. And that was my story for a very short time. However, you know, I was living on 62 pounds a week. Now, most people would say that's not enough to do anything with, but I made shit happen with that. I invested money that I barely had. I sold a car, I borrowed money from my mother, I sold all sorts of things to find the money to make things happen. I actually went and to, I invested to work with a high level mentor. Um, I ate less and saved my money and I made it happen. So I'm an example of that not being true. You know, no, you would think someone is living on benefits or welfare, that would be the story. They do, oh, well, she doesn't have the money. But I found the money. I made it happen. Another story, I remember having an enrolling conversation with a potential client who had a similar story to mine then. Um, she was on benefits. She'd, um, you know, she, she was in a lot of trouble with different areas of her life. And I remember thinking, this is never going to be a goer. She's never going to become a client. And then I remembered as coaches, we're taught to, you know, this is it's not, not our agenda. Hold the agenda of your client. So I thought, this is none of your business, Victoria. That's judgmental. It's Who are you to decide whether she has money or not? No matter what she's telling me, it's not your business, Victoria. Get in your box, mind your own business, and just be present for this woman. And that's what I did. And she said, I want to work with you. I, I've decided. I don't know how I'm going to get the money. Will you give me a few hours? I'm going to go away. I think I can move some things around. I've got a few conversations to have with people, but let's speak at 6 p.m. today, and I'll make it happen. And she came back, and she found the money. So, you know, this is about positioning. When people see the value of what you do, they will find money every time. And it's true, you know, you're not always going to get a yes. Um, and with the process I teach, uh, sort of one in every three people you will speak to will become a client. So, you know, you are going to get no's and that's just business. Don't take it personally. Um, but for every no, you'll get some yeses too. All right, so I hope that helps you with that one. Uh, so great question, Kim. Zoe says, I've become a bit serious since starting my own business. I used to be more fun at work. Well, why not be fun in business? Because like I said earlier, that is like your calling card. If you're a fun person, then be fun because that's you. I mean, why create... You know, your, your business should be a true and exciting representation of all that you are. 
Otherwise, why be in business? You know, you're not creating another job here. You are mistress of your own destiny. You can, you can create it any way you like. There are no rules. You can break the rules if you want. It's your, it's your thing. And so if you bring more fun and who you are into your business, the people who you are most likely to enjoy working with, who you can serve more powerfully, are going to be the people who are like you. Um, I find that for me, when I, you know, my private clients, they're all people who are almost like a carbon copy of me and they're a joy to work with. I just love it. Um, and they, you know, they're great clients. They, they follow the coaching, they do the work, they get results because they're like me. You know, they don't take the, you know, they're not prissy or, you know, they're just, it, they're just easy to work with, but that's because I am who I am. And so, you know, a lot of people may find me annoying, but I don't care, really. You know, there's a lot of people out there who I can help. So just be yourself. It's, it's the one thing that's going to make you different. Um, let's see, Zoe, I see some of you are dropping in and out a bit. Um, Zoe, Natasha, hi. Nice to see you, Mat Natasha. I've not met you before. Anne, oh my goodness. I have not seen you for ages, girl. Last thing I heard about you, you were writing a book. So I hope everything's going okay in your world. And we've got Kathy here. Anyone else I missed? Kim, Tracy, yeah, done those. Good. All right, so where were we? Sorry, I'm clapping my hands right by my mic. So I probably uh, deafened you there. Um, so we were talking about step four was to offer high-end packages and step five, the way you're going to hit your monthly, your uh, 5k months is to raise your fees. Not surprisingly, this is all, can you see there's a theme to this? Um, so let's just look at some of the numbers here. When you're comparing, because I know most of you listening are coaches and consultants, so I just want to give you an idea of how these shifts, you know, the reality of how these shifts can take place financially. So if you are your normal generalist life coach, say, most coaches, this morning I spoke to a lady, she said she was charging £40 per hour. Um, you know, the, the most beginning coaches are charging about 40 to £60 per hour. And on average, a client will do five or six sessions. So let's say over the, you know, in that time frame, you're going to be, you know, six, six client, um, one client, 10, six to 10 sessions, that's 600 pounds. Okay. Now, if you start to lead with the high end, then this is what it can look like for you financially. So in a month, remember, this is about working smarter, not harder. And when you position yourself as the authority, you work with fewer clients, but you pour into them. And this is actually something I meant to say about the high-end piece. The way you are really going to transform your business and continue to elevate your income and continue to generate repeat and increase business is by getting results for people, is by creating happy clients. That needs to be your goal. It, it's not just about the money. The money will come if you pour into your clients and you focus on results. Now, we live in this fast-paced world that's always talking about bloody money, you know, coaches earning this and this, and I know I've titled that today for this live stream because I know that's what pulls people in and we ultimately need money. But the money comes, the, the money is just a measure of how much you are serving. So when you show up for your clients, when you pour into your clients, when you are 100% focused on helping them achieve whatever it is they desire, that's when your business will shift. That's when the money will come in that's when you'll generate repeat and increase business because happy clients means that they will come back and work with you again and again and again. Happy clients means that you have your own little group of raving fans. 
your cheerleaders. And in fact, you know, this is what transformed my business. When I just stepped up and started to just focus on achieving results, helping my clients achieve results, things shifted because they became my greatest cheerleaders. So much business came in via my clients Not to mention the fact that my clients then went on to work with me in other programs, which is why now I have a year-long program, because it seems ridiculous to keep enrolling these same clients into this program, then that one, then that one. And so I decided to just put them all together and just deliver it in one fell swoop to keep it simple. Um, So then, you know, it really... Create, this is one of the things that helped me create the massive income shifts from going from living on benefits or welfare to generating over 30 plus K in a matter of two or three months. Um, it was exactly by doing that. And I've lost my train of thought. It's getting late at night, so I've lost it. Um, so this is why it's important to get focused in on results. And this is what the high end Um, packages will help you do. You work with fewer clients, you pour into them and help them get results, okay? So in the first stage of the enrollment process, you might enroll someone into a one-day intensive, for example. Um, So in a month period, because we're, you know, today's live is about how to hit your first 5K month. So if you were to enroll two new clients per month, and that's easily doable. I think most of you can can sort of um, feel comfortable with the idea of enrolling two new clients. If you enroll two intensive clients, the average um, fee, you know, the, the, the beginning fee for an intensive is about a thousand pounds. So two clients per month, that's two thousand pounds straight off the bat, okay? It's likely from there, with this process that I teach, that one of those will then go on to work with you again. Because when you're serving your clients powerfully, they want to get, you know, continue working with you. Because let's face it, as coaches and consultants, we're in the helping industries. And we know that deeper transformation happens in over the long term. It doesn't, you know, it's not an overnight fix. So clients are likely to want to work with you longer. So if you were to upsell an intensive client into a longer term package, say, a, you know, six month program, for example, you'd be expecting to charge about three or four thousand pounds. So right there, if you've got two intensive clients, that's two thousand pounds. One of them upsells into your ongoing six month package. That's four thousand pounds right there. You have made six thousand pounds in one month. So this is how you can realistically be generating 5K months simply by offering high-end packages. So there you go. That's the difference. And the the contrast to that, of course, was um, charging at £60 per hour, delivering 10 sessions and earning £600. So there's a big difference there. So you can see now why I was able to do my big financial jump in such a short space of time. And it's very realistic and very, very easily doable because you have more time to make it happen as well. You're not running at 100 miles an hour trying to serve people at the lower level. Now, I want to give you a quick exercise here. Based upon what you're currently charging, how much do you bring in for each client? Okay, just write that down now. And... um, How many clients would you like to be working with each month? And then just add that up. So you'll have X amount of clients at X amount of pounds or dollars. How much is that per month? And then if you times that by six, so over a six month period, how much would you generate? So that's how it is now. And then think about how much would you like to be charging and do the same exercise. Write all of that out. You can either do it now or later. Because what you're doing there is you're actually identifying how much it's actually costing you by not getting this solved. 
And it's funny because so often people will say, I can't afford that. I can't afford to get that help. But you've got to ask yourself, what is it costing you by not getting it solved? Because in the time that you think you can't afford it, that's time that you could be working with new clients. That's time that you could be delivering an intensive and enroll, upselling one person into a longer, uh, 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 you know, a six month package. It's available to you to be generating those types of figures. And actually, that's how much it's costing you not to get this sold. So I would ask you, how does that make you feel to know that? And on a scale of one to 10, knowing that, how important is it for you to get that solved? This is about getting into reality, which brings us back to step number one that we spoke about earlier. Being in reality, being truthful with yourself about where you're at and then deciding from the standpoint of the woman you want to become. And so I ask you, are you willing to commit to doing what it takes to solve that? Just a little get into, rea get into reality exercise right there. And so now I'm going to give you the final step. And then after that, I'm going to share with you a little bit more about my brand new Elevate program. So step number six is to deliver a memorable experience for your clients. And of course, this ties in with everything we've just talked about, about totally serving your clients, pouring yourself into them, which you can do when you've only got a few working with you at a higher level. And this is where your business is just going to take off. Because like I said, it's going to generate repeat and increase business. So even if someone comes in and works with you doing an intensive, one or two of those are going to upsell into a longer term program. That's when you're going to make your 5k month. It's likely that they go on to do other programs as well. But also these happy clients are going to be the people who become your greatest cheerleaders. They will tell other people, they will recommend you, they will give you glowing testimonials. You know, for me, um, if I do an enrolling conversation, and, and here's a great tip, you know, um, I can't remember your name, what was it? It was uh, Kim. You were saying that, you know, my people won't, won't pay that much. And you know, obviously some of my fees are higher end and some people are nervous about that. But the beauty is, is because I have happy clients, I can say, listen, why don't you chat to my clients? Find out how it's been for them. Ask them what results they've had. And, um, you know, nothing is going to have people saying yes more than speaking to clients of yours who have had great results, that are happy. It breaks down all of that buying skepticism. So can you see, rather than working with uh, f lots of people at a lower level who are not really invested, who don't do the work, who don't follow the coaching, who don't get results, I mean, is that good for your reputation? No. Isn't it better to work with fewer clients who are invested in themselves in getting results, who do the work, who follow the coaching, who show up, who are great clients, who are committed, that do their homework assignments, who show up on, on time, and who actually get results. Because isn't that, going to, isn't that what you want to be known for? Someone who's great at what they do. I hope that is. So that's the sixth and final step. So let's just have a quick recap. It is, we said, number one was to c cultivate a high-end mindset. Number two was to know what it takes to be irresistible to high-end clients. Number three was to make what you do unique in the marketplace. Number four was to offer high-end packages. Num uh, number five was to raise your fees. And number six was to deliver a memorable experience for your clients. And that's the difference with the high end. It's creating an experience. These days, you know, it's not enough to just deliver what you do. People want something that they're going to enjoy, that's worth investing in, that excites them, 
that they can remember. You know, it's an easy yes when you create something that lights people up. If it lights you up, it's going to light them up. And that's the key with going high end. Now, ladies, I want to share with you, I promised that I'd do that at the beginning of this, a little about my um, brand new program. In fact, I've got clients in it already, so it's not that brand new, but uh, this is the first time I'm really speaking about it publicly. It is called Elevate, and it is an eight-week small group virtual intensive and what inspired me to do this actually is I hosted a live event in which I taught this and obviously many of you are all over the world and you couldn't attend the live event here in the UK and so it is exactly the same thing but it's virtual so that I can do, deliver the same work for those of you listening here now. Now the premise of the Elevate program is just what we've talked about tonight. It's about the goal is for you to hit your first 5K. If you're at that space where you're not quite ready to go for the, that much, perhaps you just want to do 1K, 2K, whatever, you know, wherever your wealth consciousness is at, whatever feels like a, a decent stretch for you, it's about hitting that bigger monthly uh, bold money goal. It's about having a bigger impact for your clients, working with them in this deeper, more powerful way. It's about rapidly up-leveling your business and becoming a recognized authority in your niche. And it's about elevating your income and generate, you know, creating that sense of security and support that other women bloody well need and need to stand up for, all right? <laughs> I'm going to hold you to that one. So just to, um, if you're interested in it, you can find out more at victoriaplayer.com forward slash elevate. Now I will tell you briefly um, what the investment is and then I'll tell you more about what's in it without waffling too much. So it is, uh, it is the full pay for this program is £297 or there's a two pay option of £179. However, the investment is going to increase, increase by £100 every week. Um, it will increase by £100 next on the 25th of May. So if you're interested, register your spot as soon as possible. Now, I'll share with you what, who should, um, you know, why you should consider being in this program. I'm going to read off my notes here so I don't miss anything. So this is for you if you want to generate 1,000, 2,000 or even 5,000 every single month going forward, doing exactly the things we've just talked about. This is for you if you want to experience the peace of mind that comes with greater financial security. It is for you if you don't want to have, um, you know, don't want to get into having a big list, a fancy website and, and brand. You don't need those things to get started. In fact, with what I teach in this program, if you have the ability to speak, you have the ability to generate great money in your business. So why not do that and then pay someone else to sort your brand out? Pay someone else to do your website. You know, this is the way you should be doing it. Not waiting until all those pieces are in place. Make the money now. Pay someone else to do it. Get that support. We don't need to be doing any more than we already are. Um, this is for you if you only need, if, uh, hold on, I'm reading my notes. This is for you if you want to start generating great money from just a few clients without drawn out, long, lengthy marketing campaigns. This is for you if you want to create a higher level of transformations for your clients in a shorter time. Okay, because that's the beauty of um, creating intensives and uh, what you know, VIP days and that type of thing. It's focused time that helps people get results faster because you're there for them, you're pouring into them, you're giving them your undivided attention. This is for you if you want to adopt a more joyful. Um, delicious, pleasurable way of working with your clients that, that is a delight for both of you. And also it's for you if you want to have a highly portable and profitable way of working with clients either here in the UK or on an international basis. You know, I was mentioned to you about hosting an um, a sort of retreat in Thailand. 
This is exactly what I used. Um, but also you can do this virtually as well. So you can, you know, high end can be in person or virtually as well. I'm going to be teaching that. So this is what we cover, and I'm not going to go into it in detail here. If you want to learn more, go to victoriaplayer.com forward slash elevate. And I've given you all the detail, broken it down um, at that page, but I'm going to skim through it now just to give you the essence of what we're going to cover. So I'm going to share with you exactly what you need to make you unique in the marketplace, just as we've talked about earlier. One thing I'm known for is giving a lot of detail. I will not be leaving you to guess. Um, one of the things that really pissed me off when I first started out in business is I'd spend money on programs and they'd always leave a piece out which left you guessing. And I do not do that because it's so annoying. <laughs> So just know that everything, there will be no stone unturned. I am known for giving a lot of detailed how-to. So the first thing is we'll look at how to make what you do unique in the marketplace. This is how you're going to stand out in the crowd. Secondly, we're going to look at the ABCs of crafting high-impact, high-end, one-day intensives and VIP days. And also how you, what you need to offer to upsell people into um, for a longer term package. Also, pricing secrets. How to confidently charge your worth with integrity and ease. Um, the next piece is the logistics of creating high-end packages. Exactly what you need to deliver to make everything streamlined and seamless and professional and worth that high-end price tag. And also two bonuses, which is um, how to cultivate the high-end mindset and how to become irresistible to high-end clients. So the way this is delivered is via virtual workshop. I, you know, I know you're all over the place um, in terms of around the world. And so I have pre-recorded in-depth virtual workshops. They're videos which you can watch at your leisure. Now, I know we all live in different time zones. That's why I've done it this way. And I know you're all busy. So they are there for you to access when you need them. And you can listen as many times as you like. There's no start and end date. They're there for you for life. Um, so that's where the learning portion takes place. To complement those virtual workshops, I have created lots of done for you materials as well and um, every, you know checklists, scripts, templates, stuff that I use in my own business. Plus there's a members area where you can have connection with me on a daily basis. So if you have questions, if you're not sure how a certain piece of content applies to your business, I'm on hand for you. So you can pop in there, you can talk to me, you can get your, you know, get that feedback straight away because like I said, I'm about helping people get results. There will also be assignments and accountability. You know, this isn't a, a program that will become shelf help. I want you to actually do the work because I know that you can create clients in a short space of time if you actually implement. So I will be checking up on you. I will be looking to see what you're doing on social media. I will be making sure that you implement. And in terms of support and connection from me, not only will, be able to, will you be able to connect with me on a day-by-day -day basis um, throughout the eight-week period, but I will also be hosting weekly um, Q&A sessions via live stream and talking you through what I think you need to do. You know, it could be mindset pieces. It could be tweaks to your assignments. You know, I will get you to um, post your assignments in the members area and I will give you feedback on it. So, you know, if it's a messaging piece, I will say perhaps you need to word it this way or that way. I'm very much on hand. This is not like other programs where you're just left to do it. I'm very much uh, involved in interacting with you because I want you to be happy. I want you to, to uh, get results and I want you to become my greatest cheerleader. And the way to do that is for you to get results with this. So that gives you a brief overview of um, 
what we'll be covering. You can find out more about it at victoriaplayer.com forward slash elevate. And remember, it's the full pay of 297 or two payments of 190, uh, 179 plus the investment will go up by £100 on the 25th of May and every week going forward from there. So get in quickly if this sounds like your bag. Now, I know I skimmed through this and you may be wondering, is this right for me? Um, is it a fit for my business and so on? I, and I get that. So if you go to that page and you want to speak to me at the bottom, you can book a... Um, you know, a quick call to just discuss with me whether it's the right fit for you and any questions you may have around the program. So ladies, if you have listened this far, then you are definitely up for hitting your first 5k month. So I expect to see some of you enrolling so we can get you moving ASAP because the truth is, this is a really super fast revenue stream that can bring you those results, as we said, very quickly. All it all, the, all it comes down to right now is you deciding. It's step one, being the woman who makes the decisions to get you to that 5K month. So it's over to you in your decision-making process. Ladies, it has been a delight to have you with me. And in fact, I better just check on the comments before I go. My Mac is really playing up, so I'm looking... On another computer, Zoe says. Kim says, Victoria, great point on happy clients and testimonials. Zoe says, this Elevate program is in the intensive one-on-one we're talking about too. Um, the, Zoe, the intensive that we were talking about is slightly different to this. Um, that's my Get Clients in 30 Days intensive. This is a different one. Um, so perhaps you want to talk to me about that if you're not sure which is the right fit. Just um, hit me up and we'll, we'll have a chat. Or ladies, you know, you can direct message me and we can chat via Messenger if that's a better fit for you. Or we can set up a Skype chat and have a chat that way. Uh, Kim said, question, you mentioned it's eight-week program, but you have pre-recorded videos. That's right, yeah. Um, the support, the, the, the depth of support is there from me for eight weeks so, you know, you, you, get the, you can work through the content over at whatever period you like. But it's um, in terms of the support from me, um, I am there for you for eight weeks solidly where I'm literally keeping you accountable and checking in on you. I will be checking in on you to make because I just do not want you to take this and just not use it. If you invest, one thing I'm known for is if you invest with me, you, you know, I'm there to help you implement it, even though I'm not with you in person, um, because, you know, I don't want you to invest in with me if, if you're not going to do the work. Um, so I will be watching and, you know, working with you to get help you get things done during that eight week period. After that time, you've always got access to the community, but you won't get that get, get that intensity of um of support from me. I'll be checking in on you periodically and, you know, commenting on stuff and, and, and asking how things are going and stuff. But after the eight weeks, it will just be normal sort of interaction with you. So I hope that answers your question, Kim. Zoe says, can we chat next week? We sure can. And Kim says, got it. So any questions, ladies, before I finish up? I'll just hang out a few more moments and I'm gasping for a cup of tea. So let me just share with you, whilst you're lining your questions up, let me just share that URL again. It is victoriaplayer.com forward slash elevate. Everything you need is on there. The payment options are on there. You can set up a time to chat to me on there. Feel free to DM me if you want here on Facebook. Um, if you're listening into the replay, feel free to put questions below. I'm, I'll be checking back and can answer them that way. And remember, you stand to make a saving of £100 if you register before the 25th of May. The investment will be going up every by £100 every week going forward. So, any more questions before we finish, ladies? No? 
All right. Well, it has been a delight and honor to have you with me. I hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you for joining me tonight. And uh, I'll be doing another live stream next week as well on a slightly different topic. So uh, I'll touch base with you then. And uh, thank you for giving me your attention and time. I really, really do appreciate it. Um, Zoe says, uh, should I put up packages on my website soon? Will people phone phone me blind should I put should I put up packages on my website soon will people phone me blind uh yeah put up packages on your website but actually people don't buy from a website they don't they buy from a conversation if you go to my website now it's because you've seen me talking to you now this is the same as a conversation yeah, anything over a thousand pounds there's no way you're going to sell it from a web page really, not without a conversation. And actually, that's what I would do. The best, you're most likely to create sales from conversations. Um, Zoe says, prices for packages, I mean. Yeah, put the prices on your site. Because those that genuinely can't afford to work with you will, you know, then you don't want to invest because the way I teach for enrolling high end, high end, you need to generally enroll via a conversation. And, um, you know, if you're going to invest time to speak to someone and have an enrolling conversation, you don't want to get to that point where they genuinely can't afford to work with you or can't find the money in any way, shape or form and have wasted your time. So at least if you um, put your fees up on your website, um, it separates the boys from the men, so to speak. You know, people aren't going to be taking up your time and never be a, your client. It's, it's a way of pre-qualifying clients, for, for example. So I deliberately put my fees on my site because there's certain types of people I don't want to work with. Um, the lower end people, I tend, you know, they tend not to be as invested as the higher end people. And I find it harder to get results for them because they just don't do the work. So I put my fees on there to sort of filter out people that I don't want to work with. Um, thank you, Victoria. Great class, Kim says. And Zoe says, thanks for your time tonight, Victoria. Amazing. Well, ladies, thank you for joining me. I am going to sign off now. I'm going to have a cup of tea. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please feel free to share this if you enjoyed it. And I look forward to um, working with, you some, with some of you on the Elevate course. So that is it from me for tonight. This is Victoria Player signing out. Bye for now.